But first, we continue to follow and gather new information on a story we first brought to you as breaking news on WTVA 9 News at 4. This fire, the second in just four months, breaks out at a local furniture plant. The fire took place at the American Furniture Plant in Pontotoc County. WTVA's Evan Hensley joins us at the scene right now with a look at the aftermath. Evan. And Daniela, the Pontotoc County Fire Coordinator, has told me that they have fully extinguished this fire. And as you can see around me, there's not really anybody left here at the American Furniture Factory. But now what's next? The workers here now have even more questions about what the future may hold for them. I know somebody telling me that uh, they smell some smoke and everything, but I, was in, I didn't think nothing about it. You know, to, you know, at the time, then they said something about the plant was on fire and all that stuff like that. And I looked across and seen the plant was on fire. Now. This is now the third time Jeffrey Glasby has seen his job go up in flames. Uh, they make me feel bad. You know, we had to go back through this again, mm -hmm. over and over again like this. The furniture plant has seen all three of those fires in the last 13 months. According to County Fire Coordinator Adam Patton, the structure is being considered a total loss. Four months ago to the day, one of the other structures was determined a total loss and was then later torn down. Now the future is unknown for these workers. Well, I wait for construction before they tell us what we got to do and, and all that stuff like that. And put everything back together again? Right. All we can do is just keep Jesus Christ in play so it can work out, hopefully. And no one was injured in this fire, but the investigation is still ongoing and to learn as they try to learn what happened. I've reached out to the Pontotoc County Sheriff Leo Mask to learn where they are in this investigation. He's told me he could not comment on what they are currently investigating, whether this was intentional or it was an accident. What I have been told, and I can clearly see around me, there are some sheriff's deputies and some security officers still remaining here to make sure no more hot spots pile up here at the fire, as well as make sure no other funny business takes place. Make sure you stay tuned with WTVA 9 News as we continue to follow this story and get updates on whether, where this investigation could go. For now, reporting live in Pontotoc County, Evan Hensley, WTVA 9 News.